everybody. I just, um, for our discussion this week, I had read through chapter 8, and I took a chance, and I had a chance to watch all of the videos about um, the first young client who had felt some difficulties or some um, inconsistencies in his spirituality, and it was causing confliction in him, and how he had questions about his spirituality and how to, he felt that he was um, being hypocritical and um, he was trying to find ways how to discuss this with his friends and family. Um, the second video was the young lady who was feeling um, homesick and she was having trouble in finding relationships or peer relations, friends at college, and she wasn't sure what that would look like because she had been home with her family, and prior to her going to college, her family was her, her main support group. And then in the third video, there was a student um, who had been a dancer her entire life, and then she went to college, and now um, she was a student for counseling, but she had started to feel feel some, um, some ambivalency or some inconsistencies in how she felt and she thought maybe she wanted to go back to being a, you know, start being a dancing major and engage in that instead of the counseling profession. So she sought out a counselor to help her through those feelings. Um, within all the sessions, I noticed that all of the counselors, they were all sensitive, they were all attentive, they did a lot of the reflection and summarization. So they would reflect on what they had heard in a summary to ensure that that the information that they were obtaining or how they were interpreting the information was consistent with how the clients were feeling. Um, they used open-ended questions to encourage the clients to explain their situations more. They also, um, you could see that they would check for information they also all used pauses or silence to allow for the client to think or, you know, come up with their discussion, which allowed them to bring to the conversation what they were feeling. Um, they, they used a lot. What I liked about it is they used encouragers and they also did a lot of reflection of feelings and reflection of meaning. So, when they were looking at the reflection of feeling. An example that I seen was in the first video and the counselor um, was reflecting back towards the client. The client had been talking about feeling like a hypocrite and this was making him feel feelings uh, you know, around guilt. And so the counselor was reflecting back about that. Um, reflecting of Meaning, um, in the second video, a good example was when the counselor was reflecting back to the client about relationships. The client was discussing how, what relationships had meant to her with her family and how she was looking for those relationships in college, but she couldn't find them. And then at the same time, she didn't know how to develop those types of relationships with anybody outside of her family. So the counselor did a good job of reflecting that back to her to try to be empathetic and gain understanding of what she was feeling. All in all, you can see that the counselors used a lot of the same strategies, very open-minded, utilizing open-ended questions, um, engaging in empathy and reflective listening, summarizing. They all did a really good job of working with their clients.